Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, we will see how one new value affects the average and the SD of a data set. In a class of 25 students, 24 of them took an exam in class and one student took a makeup exam the following day. The professor graded the first batch of 24 exams and found an average score of 74 points with a standard deviation of 8.9 points. The student who took the makeup the following day scored 64 points on the exam. First, let's record the information provided uh, using some standard notation. For the 24 in-class exams, the sample average is 74. So we'll record that as x bar equals 74. And the standard deviation is 8.9. Also, the 25th person scored 64. So we'll just record that as x sub 25 equals 64. Part A, does the new student score increase or decrease the average score? First, we can ask how does the new score compare to the old average? Well, 64 is less than the old average of 74, so this, values, this value brings down the average. That is, it decreases the average. What is the new average? Can we simply average 74 and 64? No, why not? They have different weights. The 74 is an average of 24 students. This is only an average of one student. So we need to take a weighted average. So out of the 25 total students now, 24 out of the 25 of them together combined had an average of 74. One student out of the 25 had a score of 64. So basically we're going to weight the 74 by 24 25ths and we're going to weight the 64 by 1 25th. Notice that the two weights have to add up to 1. So 24 over 25 times the 74 plus 1 over 25 times the 64 gives us the new weighted average of 73.6. Let's look at this a different way. We know that the new average should be the sum of all 25 values over n. n in this case is 25. How do I find the sum of all 25 values? I have to find the sum of the first 24 values and then add on the 25th value, which is known, of 64. How do I find the sum of the first 24 values? Well, I know that the sum is the average times n. So the sum of the first 24 values should be the average of the 24 values times 24. So I take the average of the 24 values times it by 24, and then I tack on the 25th value, divide all that by the n of 25, and that gives me the same thing. Notice that this calculation is equivalent to the previous calculation, where we thought about it in terms of weights. So two equivalent ways of approaching this problem. Part C, does the new student score increase or decrease the standard deviation of the scores? Well, let's ask how far is the new score of 64 from the average? It's 10 away, right? So since it's 10 less than the average and the SD is 8.9, this value is farther away from the average than on average the other values are because the SD is the kind of average distance from the average. So this value of 64 is more than one SD from the average. So it's slightly farther away from the average and so this will increase the spread. That is, it will increase the standard deviation. That's it for this video. For more free resources, you can visit us at openintro.org. Thank you.